In recent weeks, Myanmar has emerged as a critical focal point in the ongoing geopolitical struggle between the United States and China. The U.S. has intensified its involvement by meeting with leaders of Myanmar's National Unity Government NUG, a coalition that stands as the primary opposition to the military junta. Reports indicate that this support goes beyond diplomatic engagement, with the U.S. allegedly providing military aid to bolster the resistance forces that are gaining ground across the country. On the other side, China has been making strategic moves to solidify its influence over Myanmar's future. Just days ago, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi met with Myanmar's military leader, Min Aung Hlaing, in Naypyida. During this meeting, China pledged to provide technological assistance and aid for a proposed census and subsequent elections, a move seen as Beijing's attempt to lend legitimacy to the junta's rule, despite widespread international skepticism about the credibility of these elections. These developments highlight a broader, intensifying rivalry between the U.S. and China in Southeast Asia. For the U.S., Myanmar represents a front in the global battle for democracy, a chance to counter authoritarianism and promote human rights. For China, the focus is on securing its strategic interests in a nation critical to its Belt and Road Initiative, while stabilizing a region that is increasingly slipping from the junta's control. As these two superpowers jostle for influence, the stakes for Myanmar and the wider region could not be higher. For the United States, Myanmar represents a critical front in its long-standing commitment to promoting democracy around the world. Since the military coup in February 2021 that abruptly ended a decade-long experiment with democracy, the U.S. has consistently condemned the junta's actions and aligned itself with the pro-democracy forces, notably the National Unity Government NUG. The U.S.'s approach to Myanmar is deeply rooted in its broader foreign policy strategy, which prioritizes the defense of democratic values and human rights. Historically, we have seen similar engagements, whether in post-Soviet Eastern Europe during the 1990s or in the Middle East during the Arab Spring, where the U.S. positioned itself as a staunch supporter of democratic transitions. In Myanmar, this commitment is evident in Washington's actions over the past few years. In recent months, the U.S. has expanded its direct support for the NUG and various ethnic armed organizations, providing them with technical assistance and helping to coordinate humanitarian efforts. This includes working with international partners, such as the United Nations and ASEAN, to maintain pressure on the junta while supporting grassroots movements fighting for freedom. The aim is clear, to restore civilian governance and end the military's grip on power. However, the situation in Myanmar is complex and poses unique challenges. Unlike other regions where U.S. influence has been more direct, Myanmar's proximity to China and the intricate web of ethnic armed groups make the geopolitical landscape particularly volatile. The U.S. must navigate this environment carefully, ensuring that its support for the NUG and other democratic actors does not inadvertently escalate the conflict or lead to greater instability. The recent virtual meeting between U.S. officials and Myanmar's opposition leaders reaffirms Washington's commitment to this cause. The U.S. remains focused on strengthening the cohesion and capabilities of Myanmar's pro-democracy forces, helping them to provide vital public services and humanitarian aid to those affected by the ongoing crisis. This engagement is not just about Myanmar, it's about reaffirming America's role as a global defender of democracy, especially in regions where authoritarian regimes threaten the freedoms that so many around the world strive to achieve. China's involvement in Myanmar is deeply rooted in its broader strategic ambitions in Southeast Asia. For Beijing, Myanmar is not just another neighboring country, it's a critical component of the Belt and Road Initiative BRI, which seeks to expand China's economic and political influence throughout the region. The infrastructure projects tied to the BRI, such as pipelines and trade routes running through Myanmar, are vital to China's energy security and its broader goal of securing a foothold in the Indian Ocean. In recent months, China's actions in Myanmar have reflected a careful balancing act. Despite the ongoing conflict and the junta's increasingly tenuous grip on power, China continues to push for elections, not out of a genuine desire for democracy, but as a means to stabilize the situation in a way that protects its investments. The Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi's recent meetings with Myanmar's junta chief, Min Aung Hlaing, were telling. Wang reiterated China's support for the junta's plan to hold elections, a move that would theoretically provide a veneer of legitimacy to the current regime. However, Beijing is acutely aware that these elections will likely be far from free or fair. China's strategy in Myanmar underscores a broader approach that we've seen across Southeast Asia, a preference for stability over democracy, as long as it secures Beijing's economic and geopolitical interests. By supporting the junta, China ensures that its massive investments, particularly those linked to the China-Myanmar Economic Corridor, are protected. 
Yet, this support is not without complications. The growing strength of ethnic armed groups and the continued instability in northern Myanmar pose significant risks to Chinese projects. Beijing finds itself in a difficult position, having to manage relations with both the military junta and the ethnic armed groups that control key border regions. What we see in Myanmar is emblematic of China's expanding influence across Southeast Asia, a calculated mix of economic investment, diplomatic engagement, and strategic patience. While Beijing is keen to avoid direct confrontation, it is equally determined to cement its influence in countries that are pivotal to its regional ambitions. The situation in Myanmar highlights both the reach and the limits of China's power in a region where it must navigate complex political landscapes to maintain its strategic interests. The unfolding situation in Myanmar is more than just a localized conflict, it is a microcosm of the broader geopolitical struggle between the United States and China for dominance in Southeast Asia. This region, a critical crossroads for global trade, resources, and strategic military positioning, has increasingly become a battleground for influence between these two superpowers. For Washington, supporting Myanmar's National Unity Government NUG, and the pro-democracy movement is not just about promoting democratic values, it's a strategic maneuver aimed at curbing China's expanding influence. By aligning itself with the opposition forces, the U.S. is effectively challenging Beijing's efforts to stabilize the region under a regime that serves its interests. This approach is consistent with America's broader Indo-Pacific strategy, which seeks to counterbalance China's rise by reinforcing alliances, expanding military presence, and supporting democratic governance across the region. Consider, for example, the recent military agreements between the U.S. and the Philippines, or the strategic partnerships with Vietnam and Singapore, which have significantly enhanced U.S. military capabilities in the South China Sea. These moves are part of a larger framework designed to contain China's maritime ambitions and to ensure freedom of navigation in one of the world's most vital shipping lanes. Similarly, in Myanmar, the U.S. aims to prevent the country from falling entirely under Beijing's sway, which could further tip the regional balance of power in China's favor. Conversely, Beijing's engagement in Myanmar is a key element of its strategy to cement its role as the dominant power in Southeast Asia. China's Belt and Road Initiative BRI, has seen billions of dollars invested in infrastructure projects across the region, from railways in Laos to deep-sea ports in Cambodia and Myanmar. These projects are not just economic endeavors, they are strategic footholds that allow China to project power and secure its interests. In Myanmar, the China-Myanmar Economic Corridor is a critical link in this chain, providing China with direct access to the Indian Ocean, bypassing the Malacca Strait and enhancing its energy security. However, Beijing's strategy is not without its challenges. The growing resistance in Myanmar, which has increasingly targeted Chinese-backed infrastructure projects, poses a significant risk to China's investments and its broader regional strategy. Moreover, as China seeks to stabilize Myanmar under the current junta, it risks being drawn into a deeper conflict, potentially alienating other regional players and complicating its relations with ASEAN. The outcome of the struggle in Myanmar could set a critical precedent for how other regional conflicts are approached by both the US and China. If the U.S. succeeds in supporting a transition to democracy in Myanmar, it could embolden other pro-democracy movements in the region and strengthen U.S. influence. On the other hand, if China manages to stabilize Myanmar under a regime that aligns with its interests, it could reinforce Beijing's position as the preeminent power in Southeast Asia, with far-reaching implications for regional security and global geopolitics. In essence, the battle for Myanmar is part of a much larger game, one that will shape the future of Southeast Asia and the global order in the coming decades. As Myanmar becomes a critical flashpoint in the broader US-China rivalry, the implications for the country and the entire Southeast Asian region are profound and far-reaching. The ongoing conflict, now fueled by external powers, threatens to destabilize not just Myanmar but also its neighbors, potentially sparking a broader regional security crisis. For Myanmar itself, the stakes could not be higher. The nation is at a crossroads, with its future governance, economic stability, and international relations all hanging in the balance. Should the conflict continue unabated, Myanmar risks becoming a failed state, a scenario that would lead to even greater human suffering, as well as a surge in refugee flows into neighboring countries like Thailand, India, and Bangladesh. The refugee crisis is already straining resources in these countries, contributing to regional instability and humanitarian challenges. Economically, Myanmar's isolation, compounded by the ongoing violence, has led to a collapse in foreign investment and a deepening economic crisis. The country's key industries, including agriculture and natural gas exports, have been severely disrupted, 
further exacerbating poverty and undermining any prospects for recovery. The situation is especially dire in regions where ethnic armed organizations hold sway, and where development projects backed by China under the Belt and Road Initiative are under constant threat from ongoing military offensives. For the broader region, the conflict in Myanmar poses significant risks to security and stability. Southeast Asia, long seen as a potential economic powerhouse, could see its growth stunted by the instability in Myanmar. The Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN, which has traditionally played a stabilizing role in regional conflicts, is struggling to mediate effectively, raising questions about its relevance and ability to manage crises within its own backyard. Furthermore, the spillover effects of the conflict, including the trafficking of weapons, drugs, and people, are likely to exacerbate existing security challenges across the region. The way the US and China navigate this situation will be crucial not just for Myanmar, but for the entire Southeast Asian region. If the US manages to support a democratic transition in Myanmar, it could inspire similar movements in other authoritarian-leaning states in the region. Conversely, if China solidifies its influence over Myanmar through the current junta, it could establish a model for how Beijing manages regional conflicts, by prioritizing stability over democratic governance, potentially reshaping the geopolitical landscape of Southeast Asia for years to come. In essence, Myanmar's crisis is not just a national tragedy but a regional dilemma with global implications. The decisions made by external powers today will echo throughout Southeast Asia, influencing the region's stability, economic development, and international relations for decades to come. As we look to the future, the situation in Myanmar remains perilously uncertain, with outcomes that could dramatically alter the geopolitical landscape of Southeast Asia. The question now is whether the support from the United States will enable Myanmar's pro-democracy forces to reclaim power, or if China's calculated patience will allow it to secure its influence over a new government in Naypyidaw. For the United States, Myanmar represents an opportunity to reaffirm its role as a champion of democracy in a region where authoritarianism has been on the rise. Washington's continued support for the national unity government and its efforts to pressure the military junta could lead to a resurgence of democratic governance, potentially inspiring similar movements across the region. However, this path is fraught with challenges. The entrenched military, backed by powerful regional players like China and Russia, presents a formidable obstacle. Moreover, the fragmentation within Myanmar's resistance movements could undermine these efforts, making a unified push for democracy difficult to achieve. China, on the other hand, is playing a long game, focused on maintaining stability and protecting its strategic investments in Myanmar. Beijing's approach has been to ensure that whoever emerges in control of Myanmar aligns with its broader regional ambitions, particularly those tied to the Belt and Road Initiative. China's backing of the junta, while criticized internationally, has allowed it to keep a foothold in Myanmar, ensuring that its economic corridors remain secure. Yet, this strategy is not without risks. The ongoing conflict and growing resistance threaten to destabilize the very projects that Beijing has invested in so heavily. Should the junta fall, China's influence could be significantly diminished, leading to a recalibration of its regional strategy. One thing is clear, Myanmar's crisis is not just a national issue, it's a key battleground in the global contest for power between the United States and China. The outcome of this struggle will reverberate across Southeast Asia, influencing everything from regional security alliances to economic partnerships. The stakes are incredibly high, and the path forward remains uncertain. As this story continues to unfold, it's essential to keep a close watch on how these superpowers navigate the complexities of Myanmar's situation and what it will mean for the broader region. We'll continue to monitor these developments closely, bringing you the latest insights and analysis on what's next for Myanmar and Southeast Asia. Stay tuned for more in-depth coverage as we follow this critical geopolitical conflict.